Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, guys, if you ask me, the year already ended. So people are starting to purchase gifts. And this is going to be my gift ideas or as far as, as, far as what I wear to work in the industry or in the trades. So with that being said, guys, let's get to it and let's get started on this video. So the first thing that you're going to wear is of course you get dressed and the very first layer is going to be underwear or boxer briefs so with that the boxer briefs that i end up using and i'm loving right now it's going to be the 32 degree boxer briefs right here and you can look at it right there it's going to be a very breathable boxer brief as you can see of course i am in texas so it gets a little bit hotter it's not as cold as up north but they're going to be great and very breathable boxer briefs to have now on amazon you're going to be able to find a four pack that's going to set you back at 21 dollars 99 and all the links will be posted at the bottom below in the description so in case you don't want to go with these a little bit higher end and more comfortable boxer briefs that i had taken a look at reviewed and am wearing currently all the time to work is going to be the sax boxer briefs right here now again these are going to be very breathable and very comfortable and of course being comfortable at work is very important just because that's going to assist her set your tone as far as how the day's going to go and everything in the beginning. So this is the very first layer and just very comfortable boxer briefs to have. Now, of course, a little bit pricier. They're going to set you back at $44.95 for two. So yeah, keep that in mind. It is a little more pricier. Now, as far as undershirts, I'm going to be wearing the 32 degree under shirts right here or just shirts i like to rock them around the house or if i go out they're just very comfortable shirts again if you're sweating or if you're out in the trades it gets wet it's gonna dry up very quick just because of the material it's made out of so again guys that is another thing that i like to have and wear on me all the time so let's go ahead and keep it moving now of course a nice item to have are going to be socks now if you don't invest in your socks it does affect you you are on your feet if you're in the trades you're on your feet almost 8 10 12s uh sometimes 24 hours even though you shouldn't be but you are on your feet a lot and having socks is going to make a huge difference i went ahead and looked at other socks and of course the ones that have been sticking out of course are going to be the darn tough socks right here now they are a little bit pricier one pair is going to set you back i believe 24 dollars but of course these are their cool max uh socks right here and they're going to set you back 24 dollars 99 a pair now again that's going to be the cool max boot cut right there which are going to be their socks now, on top of that, again, something that you're going to have on you all the time are going to be in top of your socks are going to be your boots. So let's bring these babies out. I still have the Red Wing boots right here, which have been working great. These are going to be the Real Flex 2204. I'm not too sure if they make them as far as brown. I think I saw them in black now, but just let me know in the comments below and see what y'all think. Now, these set me back. Back in six months ago, they were two thirty nine uh, for the set, and of course now they're looking at two fifty nine online for the set. Now on top of that, I did get some insoles inside, which are very comfortable. Now the insoles were a little bit pricey, and they ran me for sixty dollars, which is crazy amount. But again, guys, you are on your feet a lot, so you end up using this stuff all the time. Now the insoles were a tricks uh, insoles, and I'll leave the comments or on the links below guys also let me know what boots you're rocking yourself that way i could take a look at them purchase them and see if they're comfortable i've reviewed multiple boots and so far these are the most comfortable uh somebody had asked in the comments below how are they with the waterproofing honestly guys the waterproofing did go away uh my boots still get a little bit uh, wet inside or my socks and from there on they dry out but as far as that they are super comfortable still lightweight composite toe and they're just great boots and very comfortable boots to have so just keep that in mind let's go ahead and move on to the next one now the next one's going to be what actually holds holds my pants together and i'm still loving the core belt uh 
core belts right here and of course they're going to be with a track system right here if you could see on the inside they are a track so instead of having to uh connect it through a loop the leather and the leather stretches all you do is just clip it on and if you could hear it is the tracks is just holding on and it's going in and after that it holds now you do have more increments as far as uh measurements that way you could have more adjustments just in case you eat a hefty meal or thanksgiving or stuff like that you could go ahead and undo it super quick and that way nobody notices notices you undoing your belt so it's a very nice belt still to have and very comfortable that one's gonna set you back at 49 dollars right now of course another thing that we went ahead and looked at was a hat now i'm not showing you a hat because there's so many hats out there i always have a hat on me you cannot go wrong with giving a hat core belt any of the above items they are super comfortable great to have especially if you're in the trades these are my recommendations because i use it at work i'm out in the trades i work for a mechanical contracting company so i'm all over uh the place inside outside it doesn't matter these are just items that i found to work great now on top of a hat also some sunglasses which of course i'm not gonna say any sunglasses everybody have their own preference of their costas ray-bans um some safety uh plastic uh it doesn't matter guys as long as you have some sunglasses to protect you from the sun when you're outside they are going to be great to have if you end up giving some sunglasses you cannot go wrong with that also a cell phone is part of my edc i always have a cell phone on me so that cell phone sticks to me and i ever i'm sure almost everybody has a cell phone that's watching this video right now now the next item that i strongly recommend or am loving right now are going to be these two flash lights of course the original one is the stream light right here as you could see and it is re as you could tell right there and it is rechargeable usb and they're going to be super bright and great to have i always have them on me that way if i'm looking at something giving out some estimates or i need to crawl somewhere and i don't have that much space or room and i just need to see what's going on this flashlight is great now of course the milwaukee rechargeable flashlight also is great and this one is also going to be a red dot pointer as you can see on top of a flashlight and it is going to be rechargeable so this is going to be some great gifts to have or a great item to give away just because you know they're gonna like it and they're gonna enjoy it as far as having them on them as with their edc or carry now the flashlights uh i believe they're running about 49.99 for both of them so just have that in mind also a pen now i always have a pen on me if it's a cheap little pen right here sometimes i end up carrying different pens and of course you're always gonna have something to write down with so of course right here i have the other pen this is going to be the right and the rain pen right here which is a great little pen to have let me see if my camera focuses it's not focusing right now let me move it out the way and as you can see right here they're going to be great just because even if it rains you can still write with it and it's going to be great a great pen just to have on you if you lose it you're not going to worry about it and of course i have the zebra right there which let me see again let me see if i could zoom into it and uh, let me see if the light catches it a little bit better There we go, which is going to be the zebra right here. Now, of course, this is going to be the right in the rain model number 93K, and it's going to set, set you back for $12.95. The zebra X-701, which is also going to be able to write in the rain, is going to set you back at $11.79. The chibi pen, you're probably going to be able to find it for a dollar or less, and it's going to be multiple packs. Now, of course, I like to write, and when I write, I like to have these notepads on me, which are the right in the rains. Now, why do I keep them on me one i have a little one in case i'm making a material list or a reminder and the other one is to keep track of everything now the great thing about it is you could also make isometrics in case you want to get some layouts or something like that they're going to be great to have and if it rains on you or you get wet a pipe burst who knows what you're out in the elements these are going to be water resistant paper so it's going to be able to save it and it's just going to be working great as far as if you're in the trades i like to keep my pen in there and that way i write everything down now keep that in mind writing is very important in case you're doing takeoffs measurements stuff like that you got to write it down and remember it and that way you could give the proper estimate and the proper information Maybe you'll be using your phone, but I still like paper and pen. They're always great to have. Now, the right and the rain, 
right in the rain notebooks are going to set you back a three pack of the smaller ones which is the 235 right here right here is going to set you back at ten dollars and 95 cents and then the other model number which is the seven seven two seven seven three sorry about that is going to set you back at four dollars and 85 cents for one of them so those are always great ideas and great items to have in case you're trying to stuff some uh socks or just give away some items to somebody that's out in the trades or just anybody they're just great great nope notebooks to have so next item that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be of course my groove ring i always have my groove ring on me which it is a plastic ring it and it's gonna have some grooves on the inside let me see if i can flip it around that we could see it i am married and as you can tell right there it has some nice little grooves that way it's breathable and everything's great of course this is going to be their seuss uh, model right here so it's just very nice to have now why are you going to have a silicone or a rubber ring well of course if you're in the trades you're going to be exposed to a lot of elements if you're an electrician you know why you're going to be wearing a rubber ring if you're an hvac also you don't want to hit that 220 or that electrical circuit with your ring because believe me you're going to have fun blow out a ring or even forget the ring you end up blowing out your finger or something of that nature in your body so you're going to want plastic and of course you want to get caught on a belt on any machines or anything uh, this is actually going to rip off instead of it of it instead of that metal staying on you and ripping off a finger so just keep that in mind uh, these are i believe that one alone is going to set you back at 49 dollars 99 that's what i ended up picking it up online or i believe amazon does sell groove rings now the next item that i always carry with me is going to be this still i had reviewed the dangle wallet right here and i still have it it is going to be their whiskey color and as you can tell it does have some wear and tear i've been using it and i love it just because it comes with a pen just in case i forget my pen i could write stuff down and everything and of course keep my money and my wallet all my stuff that's going to be in there and important and of course i keep my osha and all those certifications that i have to have on me all the time in case somebody asks while i'm out in the site so those are always nice a wallet you cannot go wrong with the gift now next up is going to be of course i always have a keychain on me now the keychain is going to set you back this one alone i believe it's 13 bucks it's a titanium made out of titanium and a small little bottle opener but what i always have on me is these ergo ergodyne squids right here which are going to set you back at six dollars and 43 cents it comes with a pair which they're back to back that way you could clip it on but i ended up removing one and i like to clip on my gloves that way i always have them on me remember you never know when you have to get in there uh, you don't want to get your hands dirty or you don't want to get cut always have gloves and of course gloves are always nice to have and always nice to give so keep that in mind now the ergo is going to set you back at $6.53. Next up is going to be what tools I always have on me. Now the tools that I always have on me, of course, it's going to be my Nipix, the 250s, which are going to be the 10 inches. And of course, these are the quick quick latch right there now some people are not fans of them now you're probably asking why they're so clean i do have multiple pairs this is just the one that i make on the videos the other ones are out in my truck all messed up and all beaten up and wear and tear but again they're still holding up and they're just great pliers to have or tongue and groove pliers now why do you keep them on you all the time whenever i get off you got to be ready and prepared just in case you got to shut something down open something up it doesn't matter twist lock whatever Whatever the case is pull you always should have a nice pair of tongue and groove pliers now the next tool that i always keep on me which i strongly recommend too is going to be an 11 and one screwdriver now of course this is the hvac model which comes with a straighter valve over here tool and some other uh, remover cores and stuff like that and it's going to have a couple phillips head i believe two and one phillips head and then it's going to have the flat head and of course a quarter inch uh 5 16th so on so on which makes it an 11 and one which you can see right here let me see if the camera focuses there you go which says right there 11 and 1 which is always nice to have so keep that in mind guys i always have these two now the next item that i always have on me which again guys you should always have it on you it's going to be a utility knife now you 
The utility knife that I've been using recently have been the Milwaukee's. They've just been great all around just to have and I really like the fastback action. Instead of having to pull it out, press it, pull it out, you could do it all in one hand and just pull them out. So keep that. This is a very nice on Amazon. I believe it's ridiculous for $33. I believe you get one. Go to Home Depot, pick it up and they're just much cheaper at Home Depot. I believe they're like $12, $13. So utility knives, you can never go on wrong with a utility knife just because you never know when you have to cut something open up now if you don't want to carry utility knife you could always have a knife on you but your knife you're gonna end up ruining it messing it up stuff like that so just keep that in mind so after the utility knife guys the things that i always keep on me are gonna be a tape measure so of course this is going to be the stanley i like to keep 25 foot tape measures on just because they don't weigh as much as a 30 footer so the stanley's gonna be great this one's gonna set you back 16 dollars or the lufkin right here which is the shock force which is very nice a black then highlighter green edc and of course the front and the back and it's just gonna be a nice tape measure to have and it's gonna withstand a good drop now of course this one's a little bit more pricey it's gonna set you back at 33 dollars and 99 cents so just keep that now other items that I keep on me all the time. I went ahead and I purchased a watch. I'm not too sure if y'all had seen it. This is going to be the Garmin Phoenix 6S Sapphire which is going to be very nice to have because sometimes you're working and then you end up getting calls on your phone. You just go ahead and take a look at it and you can see who's calling. You could ignore them. Call, call them back. If you have an iWatch, it's going to be the same thing also and it's just nice to have sometimes your hands are dirty you don't want to pull out your phone you go ahead look at the watch time a watch is always great to have this is just a watch that i ended up going with and it's been working very great of course i'm in the trades so it's water resistant it's going to be shock resisting uh gorilla glass resistant everything like that it's been working great and honestly i've been showering with it every day since i've got it and it's been working very fine just because i've been trying to test it out and see where the faults come out to it now a uh, next item that i strongly recommend and maybe if you don't want to get a utility knife is going to be just a regular knife now a knife to have is always going to be a nice feature guys just because you never know when you have to cut something sometimes you don't have a, a knife at work and you have to cut a sandwich split so on so on cut an apple it doesn't matter guys a knife is always a great item to have so let's go ahead and move this up now last but not least guys if you want to spend a couple more dollars on some fancier uh pens there is this tactile turn pens which i have different pens these are just a couple that i love it is made out of copper love them they're great pens to write with just be careful because they do walk off also the machine era pen right here which are very nice pens to have i just love them and i love writing with them i don't take them to work these are just special occasions and of course i keep them on a separate uh just because if you take them to work they'll end up growing legs and walking away now of course another suggestion would be the Wearl Tool Check Plus right here, which is going to set you back at about $85, which is a nice little kit to get off with, having your back pocket. And of course, you could open up. It has Phillips, flatheads, uh, so on, some sockets. Uh, if you want to open up certain items, you're going to have a bunch of different heads right here with you and ready to go. So that is a very nice set to have. Now, last but not least, if you do want to spend some extra money, I would definitely get some earbuds just because I love listening to music while I'm at work work of course sometimes osha doesn't allow you or certain areas does not allow you to have music i love these ear uh the beats of course i also have the airpod pros but the thing about the airpod pros they are not water resistant these are going to withstand sweat and stuff like that and they're just going to stay on your ear for the most part and just listening to music while you work. So that's going to be it, guys. This is my video as far as stuff that I take to work, stuff that I wear to work, and stuff that I use at work all the time. Of course, I don't take everything at the same time. I alternate, but I do have all this stuff. And of course, this is my work stuff. Keep in mind, I do have my own EDC as far as going out, and that's something separate. I have multiple knives, multiple pens multiple hangs i have a bunch of stuff just all around if y'all wish to see videos of everything that i have please leave them in the comments below also let me know y'all zdc what do y'all wear what are y'all using that would be very helpful for the videos because i love purchasing stuff i love learning about new stuff and just going from there and never ending learning 
process. So as always, guys, another thing is we are almost at 5,000 subscribers. So you all know what that means. We're giving away a Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack. So if you're new to the channel, I give away a Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack every 1,000 subscribers. And the way to win it is comment, message, uh, follow, and everything. Stay interactive with the channel. And I notice everything. I'm sorry I haven't uh, gotten in contact with everybody that's left me comments. I will do my best to answer everybody's questions this week. As always, thank you all for the support. And thanks for watching. One tool a week, guys.